In a Shark Tank show, Vinita told, someone's the Elon Musk of India. I thought it was a fabulous opportunity to invest in one. So today I am happy to introduce to you Sri Vikram from X Machine, who is considered as somebody who is transforming the world of tractors in India. Too much of pesticide is bad and it is also expensive. How do we make sure that there is less pesticide and it is targeted so that crop yields are fine, but at the same time, costs and soil impact is lesser? Let's find out how. So, Trivikram, how did you feel being told as Elon Musk, uh, Vinita also identified, rightfully so, that your logo was similar to that of SpaceX, I feel. Uh, what did you think about it? No, that's a huge compliment that Vinita has given. But at the same time, I would like to clarify that we came up with the name Expressions in 2017 and the design that you have seen as our product, the designs are from 2017 actually. But it's a very interesting coincidence that sensibilities somewhere are closer and that's a huge compliment. So, just to contextualize, Vinita saw their products and said it looked like Cybertruck. And Cybertruck came after 2017 and here Tri Vikram is mentioning that his sensibilities are probably similar to companies such as uh, Tesla and others. This is fascinating. Now let's go through your problem. So you come from Hyderabad. Your family has farm nearby Zach, um, in smaller towns around. How did this occur to you that after you did a uh, fantastic mechatronic engineering, you were a Linux engineer, that you will go back and create tractors for farmers, miniature tractors for farmers? So, I don't know how this bug has entered my mind. Probably because I have been born into a predominantly agri-oriented family. And uh, even, even though my parents are, my father is a businessman and but still, the root somewhere, it's in my DNA that, you know, I always fell for agriculture. And even today, my grandmother still enters, she goes to the farm every single day, okay? And when I was studying, I came across this uh, farmer's articles. And I thought something needs to be done here. And that too many people are going around computers, cell phones, all the cool stuff. But in the future, the major problem is going to be with food and water. If we don't, and I also learned that there is a lot of extensive chemical utilization that goes into farms. And I wanted to somehow make a difference there and uh, at the same time help farmers and help ourselves as consumers uh, with this technology. All right, let's uh, go to a very uh, important two questions. First one is, what are the two or three ranges of products that you have? that you believe will be very successful part of X Machine? So fundamentally, we although we started X Machines as a agri problem solver solving company, but what happened eventually is we have diversified a little bit. So we have created a platform that is great for agri and also is great for non-agri use cases. For example, solar. Okay. Uh, in solar industry, we can use the same tools, so the same development that we've done for agri in the same uh, uh, use cases. Our primary pro products are micro tractor kind of platforms, which can be utilized for a range of agricultural operations, some of which are AI based operations. But fundamentally, the idea is that a single unit which can perform all the agri operations with different attachments, which uh, which can be rented out to farmers on a per acre basis. That is the fundamental idea. And uh, we think out of all these uh, uh, use cases, weed control and spraying, precision spraying is going to go really well, both for the market as well as uh, the environment. When uh, multiple sharks opted out, did you think that uh, there was a deal incoming? I was actually looking at your body language. I thought you might be interested. Same with uh, Namita. Uh, but at the same time, whether sharks understood it today or not from their lens, um, I really respect their perspective. At the same time, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm seeing uh, in the future. And I wasn't really, uh, it, it did not really uh, uh, pinch me, but I was just taking their feedback and see objectively. Uh, yes, whether I'm actually addressing those problems or not. Did you think that uh, before coming to the pitch that uh, you would get an investment or there would be sharks who would invest? 
um that is the intent behind coming here but at the same time i did not know who is going to invest who might be interested uh but it's a pleasant surprise that you and namita both uh, liked what we are doing and what do you think namita and i can help you in the business with see uh, the thing is both of you are solid entrepreneurs and you've done the, you've gone through the journey of starting a company taking it to a really large level and i just want to benefit out of it okay i i i want to learn i want to really not do the mistakes and then learn i want to just learn from my own mistakes do this don't do that you should do uh, this way or whatever i just want to learn and imbibe it for uh, how to utilize it for my uh, company uh, namita is a very sharp person and that intellectual sharpness is something that is going to be very essential for any business and for us for the stage that we are in i would really love to get more uh, uh, more scrutinized by her lenses so that we do a much better job going forward so on that note meer company chaala baaga undi given we both come from i come from the odisha andhra border or oh, specifically uh, the town i come from is from odisha but it's on the andhra border so i grew up with uh, my friend speaking telugu so i learned speaking telugu and you come from northern andhra uh, the town i am from is close to bobeli parvatipuram and so on i hear your wife's from parvatipuram that's right so that's fantastic i am so happy i hope we can uh, someday go to your farms near parvatipuram i would love to thank you all the very best thanks a lot